So they done found me. Um, where well, they've been following me. So I'm right here by 11th Street and uh, the Sugar Factory. Um, they clubbing and all that stuff, but they trying to come past speed and making all this noise, knowing that I'll probably make some videos while I'm right here. And um, like I said, I was singing, I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. And my mama, like, she started singing it too, like, with me. And then, like, it broke the power over the black people and over all of the people that was out there that they had the closest to me to harm me, like, the people that they had encircling me. Like, it, they had something where they were scared, where the devil was trying to do something to them too. But he had them so bound that they was willing to hurt me um, and scared of the devil hurting them too. And when they saw my strength in, in, in Jesus Christ, then they started singing it too. And people was bopping like, I plead, I plead. They were singing it with me. And I was like, damn. And then we were, I was like, let me sing it again, mama, you know? And so we was out there singing, singing it together. And they were supposed to kill me. But they went to Jesus and started pleading the blood over their life and over the whole situation because we all do what we, who was putting everybody up to hurting me. And it was the same ones that was threatening them too. And it was the devil. It was the, the white man that, that they were serving. Uh, he was causing them to come to harm me. And he was threatening to harm them too. And so the blood of Jesus gave them faith uh, to not hurt me and to also believe that Jesus Christ could save them too. I also had another vision because they erased my channel. I also had another vision um, of I, I seen Mama D from Love and Hip Hop. And, but at first I seen like people bringing me up in these little houses and leaving me in the room by myself. And they just was leaving me in there with cookies. Just like cookies and shit. Like not no real food. And see, they was telling me I wasn't pregnant, but I knew I was. And God was telling me that I was. Even though they kept saying, you not pregnant, you not pregnant. And then so in this vision, they was leaving me in this room with these cookies and people was treating me nice at first. Oh, hey girl, get comfortable, you know, all that. And then they'll leave and they was laughing in the hallway. So I noticed that I was in there eating cookies and I was like, hmm, I ain't got no real food up in here. So I came out the room and I went outside and they was all partying together, eating pizza outside, laughing about me being in there pregnant and them just trying to make me eat cookies. So then they, I ended up outside on somebody's doorstep in the vision and it was cold. And I had a little newspaper to cover myself up. See, they want to try to come making all this noise. So I had this newspaper covering myself up. And I'll wait. I'll let them go past first. It's going to turn green. That's black people, too. But anyway, so um, I had this little newspaper covering me up outside on somebody's steps. So they were trying to make me feel comfortable and then hurry up and try to kick me out without no options or anything. And then they tried to do it in the middle of the wintertime. So they did have me out in the wintertime and I had it on my channel. Um, and the Holy Spirit was showing me what they were trying to do. And then all of a sudden this black man from Hollywood, I seen his face on TV before. He came up out of this car, and um, first it had been the party where they they was having a party and they was making fun of my charge, talking about, oh, that's so, that's so, this is an that's so, like where they was all thinking they gonna be laughing and partying and then making fun of me. And then after that, they brought me in these houses and then tried to starve me. And then they had me uh, outside with a, a newspaper covering my body. And then this black man had got out of the car with a gun and he came, he was from Hollywood. I seen his face on television before. Um, but I don't know his name. I don't I can't put it I can't put a face a name to the face and I don't really care. But I seen him on TV. He came walking up to me with a gun. 
and then he started to shoot me. But then God had stopped it. And I seen Mama D from uh, Love and Hip Hop, but God showed me that he was, that she was gonna end up getting sick. But at first she was trying to say, uh, that oh, trying to take the white people's side in the vision, and my baby daddy was abusing me. And then trying to make it seem like I was a prostitute on the street. Like, oh, well, when I was young, I could go this way and it was drug dealers, and I can go that way and it was drug dealers.